Good afternoon. The Independent Police Complaints Commission is investigating the death of a pedestrian in Brighton who was hit by a car that was being followed by Sussex police. The vehicle was later found abandoned on Madeira Drive. Well, police are now appealing for witnesses and a man has been arrested. We came down from the um, clock tower road out of town and on the corner, it was obvious the road was empty. It was obviously something that happened. There were blue lights flashing. So we looked across and it was clear there was, there was no ambulance there. There was one police car, I think, and a body and people crouched around looking at this person on the road. There's a heavy police presence at an Oxford park this afternoon as officers investigate a serious sexual assault. The attack happened in Rayleigh Park near Oxford Brooks University just after 8 o'clock yesterday evening. A man is in custody. Well, police have released CCTV of St Mary Street in Southampton near to where a man was stabbed early on Monday morning. Officers want to speak to anyone who was in the Golden Grove area. A man is being questioned. Well, a man suffered serious head injuries when two men wearing masks broke into an Indian restaurant in Godalming shortly after closing time. Police have arrested and bailed a 26-year-old man. A search is underway for an impatient driver who moved an ambulance to free up a parking space. The man, reportedly in his 50s, got into the vehicle and released the handbrake. The ambulance crew were in the back of the van giving emergency treatment to a patient. So it was very dangerous for the crew. Uh, in essence, they were trapped in the back of their own vehicle. Um, the vehicle would have been moving. They would have had to exit the ambulance uh, and jump in the front to try and stop the, the ambulance before it hit anybody else or hit any other vehicle. Schools across West Sussex say new proposals to make funding fairer won't solve their problems. They've already lobbied Parliament for £20 million of extra cash. Today, they've written to MPs and demanded answers from schools ministers and Sussex MP Nick Gibb. We were hoping that the new national funding formula that came out would be the answer to the problems uh, that we've been experiencing. And whilst many schools within West Sussex do uh, benefit slightly, uh, because of a number of additional costs that are coming in, the overall effect is that we're going to be worse off than we were a, a couple of years ago. Well, the weather is coming next today with Alex Beresford. From puddles to paddling, driving through Europe, Euro Tunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. Hello, good afternoon. As you may have heard, there is a potential for some pretty wintry weather developing through tomorrow, particularly towards the end of the day. Through daylight hours, we're going to see a pretty hefty band of rain coming through, largely staying as a rain, but towards the evening time, it could turn to snow. It's a developing story. Keep an eye on the forecast. There are some weather warnings in place and also we could see the winds picking up, which could make driving conditions quite tricky towards the end of the uh, evening rush hour tomorrow. But for the here and now, it's pretty much a quiet story. Cloudy skies, a few bits and pieces of rain. Temperatures still making double figures, but feeling colder in that brisk northwesterly breeze. Tonight it stays on the dry side, but it could be quite chilly. Bye bye. Euro Tunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. Well, if you're free at six o'clock this evening, I do hope you can join Fred and Sangeeta. They'll, of course, be here with more of the day's news for you. Until then, from all the team here this lunchtime, have a lovely afternoon. Bye bye. <laughs>